Chris Perkin says if Patrick Stewart can read Shakespeare, then we can read the DMG. This is probably my favorite section. Chapter 9, Dungeon Master's Workshop. As the Dungeon Master, you aren't limited by the rules in the player's handbook, the guidelines in these rules, or the selection of monsters in the monster manual. You can let your imagination run wild. This chapter contains optional rules that you can use to customize your campaign, as well as guidelines on creating your own material, such as monsters and magic items. Before you add a new rule to your campaign, ask yourself two questions. Will the rule improve the game? Will my players like it? If you're confident that the answer to both questions is yes, then you have nothing to lose by giving it a try. Urge your players to provide feedback if the rule or game element isn't functioning as intended or isn't adding much to your game, you can refine it or ditch it. No matter what a rule's source, a rule serves you, not the other way around. And this goes back to, I think, what Chris Perkins says, what Adam Coble says, that every dungeon master or guide, as I prefer, is a game designer. And when you pick up a book, it's someone else's material. When you read the DMG, it's someone else's material. When you start your own game, the minute the game starts, it's your material. It's your game, and you can hack it, you can change it, you can do whatever you like with it. That's the power of being the guide.